This is another example of solving a combined inequality statement. We are told three times a certain number added to five is less than or equal to 20 and is greater than or equal to minus 16. We are asked to find the range of values of real numbers for which this statement is true. So we must use the information here to write a combined inequality statement. So we have three times a certain number. So we will let the certain number be equal to x. Well then three times the certain number is 3x added to 5, so plus 5, is less than or equal to, less than or equal to symbol, 20. And is greater than or equal to minus 16. So again, 3x plus 5 is greater than or equal to minus 16. Now you saw in a previous video about the example of finding the distance between John and Mary's house, how to write this combined inequality statement without using the word and between the two inequality statements. So we have 3x plus 5 less than or equal to 20 and 3x plus 5 is greater than or equal to minus 16. Well then 3x plus 5 is a value between minus 16 and 20 including minus 16 and 20. Now to see this more clearly, if you have 3x plus 5 greater than or equal to minus 16, well then minus 16 is less than or equal to 3x plus 5. And that is exactly what we have written here. And we already had that 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to 20, and that is the inequality that we have here. So you can see that this is the combined inequality used to represent the above information. So we are trying to solve the combined inequality minus 16 less than or equal to 3x plus 5 less than or equal to 20. Now in the question we were asked to find the range of values of real numbers for which the statement is true. Now we let the number be equal to x, so that means we are trying to find the range of values of x for which this combined inequality is true, where x is a real number. So if we want to try and solve for x, we want to isolate the x term in the middle part of the inequality statement. So to do this we will subtract 5 from each part of the inequality statement. So we'll subtract 5 from the left side. the middle part and the right part of the inequality statement and that gives us minus 21 now we are trying to find for values of x that make the statement true so we want x on its own in the middle part so we will divide each part of the inequality statement by 3 this gives us that minus 7 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. So this is the solution of our combined inequality. So only values of x that are between minus 7 and 5 and including minus 7 and 5 when substituted back into our original inequality here will satisfy the inequality. Now representing this on the number line we have that minus 7 is less than or equal to x, so that means that x is greater than or equal to minus 7. So we have a closed circle at minus 7, as minus 7 is included, and all values greater than minus 7 are included. We also have that x is less than or equal to 5, so we have a closed circle at 5, and all values less than 5, which are real numbers, are also included. So our overall solution set are all the real values between minus 7 and 5 and including minus 7 and 5. So this is how our solution set is represented 
on the number line. So we should check if we are correct. So we will substitute a value that is between minus 7 and 5 into our original inequality statement and the inequality statement should be satisfied. So our original inequality statement is minus 16 less than or equal to 3x plus 5 less than or equal to 20. So we are going to substitute a value in between minus 7 and 5 so we will substitute 0. And we get that minus 16 is less than or equal to 5 and is less than or equal to 20. And this is true. Minus 16 is less than or equal to 5 and 5 is less than or equal to 20. So this is true as we expected as 0 is part of our solution set. So we will test a value that is not part of our solution set then. So we will test a value that is less than minus 7. So some value out here on the number line. So we will test minus 9. And you can see that this is a false statement. Minus 16 is not less than or equal to minus 22. And we expected this as minus 9 is not part of our solution set. So to check another value then we will test a value that is greater than 5. So we will try the value 8. This is also false. Minus 16 is less than or equal to 29, but 29 is not less than or equal to 20. So this is not part of our solution. So this proves that we are correct. Only values between minus 7 and 5, including minus 7 and 5, will satisfy our original inequality. So to answer a question, the range of values of real numbers for which the statement is true is given by this answer here. x is any real value between minus 7 and 5.